Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial uh, we're gonna go through the notifications in Android so you'll learn to make something like this different notifications for the user here, here is a status bar notification okay some dialogues and uh, finally we'll learn how to create a custom dialog so first thing you need to do when you you want to create a notification if you don't uh, know them by heart is to go to dev guide user interface notifications and uh, in this page you you get all the documentation you need uh, to create those notifications so let me just erase this code so we can write it again okay so now we have a blank project I just uh, yeah, well it's not that blank I just put it uh, uh, put in it uh, some buttons and I, I've declared it over here and also set uh, the on click listeners for them okay so let's go through each one toast notification those notification is uh, something like this so it's uh, the simplest notification of all so if you go to here to those notification uh, you'll see this line but we don't want this we want uh, this chained uh, method so let's just copy it and for context uh, put your uh, main activity dot this text for example uh, we can notify the user to do something so an action or uh, whatever you want here hello so thanks for rating us duration here is in milliseconds so uh, we'll show it for two seconds and always remember to at the end to put a dot show okay so that's it for this notification let's test it here I have a gingerbread uh, emulator so here you go the simplest notification of all you can also use this notification uh, to make small debugging of the application if you don't want to use a log feature okay so uh, up to the next one we have um, status bar notification okay so for example I don't know by heart uh, how to make a status bar notification you don't have to remember uh, all that just go to notification status bar notification and click this link okay so uh, it's really very very well explained so first copy the first lines okay good now you can copy uh, these lines directly but remember to first instance instantiate the get to get a reference to the notification service this is important so this line and then copy these lines of course you, you can also copy uh, these lines too but uh, here are all together paste it here and uh, to show show the notification we have to call uh, this okay at the end and let's fix some things the notification uh, icon we want to use the default uh, icon of the application here you can edit uh, this text for example an intent you have to name your class if you have main you put main that this here and also we use uh, same class for the notification intent and also here you have to, to put 
this okay so at uh, this notify you have to define an ID so let's just put 10 okay so now let's test it and let's see if it works no this one so there you go your notification is a taskbar personally I find them very annoying uh, but if you want to use it go ahead next uh, next notification is a dialog notification so let's go to dialogues and uh, let's make this one for example just copy paste the code and we need to fix uh, fix it a little okay so uh, there you go and um, here uh, here is a magic happens inside here okay so actually let's use this toast for logging purposes clicked no clicked and remember to to call it to call it with a notify actually it doesn't says here but you have to do this let's test it dun 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 there you go and for the second dialogue this is the most interesting one we'll make a custom dialogue so something like this it says here we have to create an XML layout so let's just go ahead and create it XML. let's copy paste what we need okay and uh, let's just get this code drop it down here drawable we don't have an icon drawable uh, named under it so we'll use uh, default application uh, icon and at the end we just call the show method and this should work very well and oh la la what is this we have an error so unable to add window token is null for an application okay this happens because we don't need get application content we need not this okay and this should be it it's annoying to move my mouse I know around like this and here we we have our custom dialog for further information, if you look at notifications, you, you'll you see, for example, at dialog, you can make something like this, a progress dialog, dialog, or something like this. They're very easy to make, just copy paste the code and there you go. And uh, this should be it. I hope you managed to to understand everything I told you and until next time have fun and have fun coding